Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, and thank you for holding um, this hearing. Before I begin with my questions, I would like for unanimous consent uh, to be included in the record a letter from the American Academy of Diplomacy and the Council of American Ambassadors um, stating, we believe the proposed magnitude of the cuts to the State Department budget pose serious risks to the American security. Without objection. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I think that we pretty much all agree uh, that diplomacy and development are essential to advancing our national interest and protecting our national security. As the co-chair of the Central America Caucus, I have been particularly involved in the Northern Triangle of Central America. Many members of Congress, both sides of the aisle, have recognized that we have a strong national interest in security, development, and the, and the rule of law in the Northern Triangle. There has been bipartisan commitment to provide assistance to the region in support of the Alliance for Prosperity in the Northern Triangle. Over the past two years, these countries have begun to see real progress in key areas. The United States has been a catalyst for change and has stood behind the efforts of Hondurans, Guatemalans, and Salvadorians who are working to improve conditions for their um, constituents, uh, especially the attorney generals of all three countries have, been, have had an excellent international partners as well, uh, especially the International Commission Against Impunity in Guatemala, and now the mission to support the fight against corruption and impunity in Honduras. Ambassador Burns, what kind of negative effects could we see if assistance to this region was sharply reduced? Oh, I think it would be a great mistake. We have a we have an integrated life with the countries of Central America and Mexico, as well as Canada. And these programs um, in the Northern Triangle, especially the fight against corruption and the activities of our American ambassadors in trying to work with the governments of Guatemala and Honduras and other places, they're critical to us and critical to our security. And I, I think the larger point here too is we cannot afford to have a troubled relationship with Mexico. And we've got to straighten that out as well. This is, this is the a key part of American power in the world is stability in Central America and North America. I have been specifically impressed with the work of all three ambassadors and the work that they have done uh, to empower the people you know, to work uh, to ensure that future generations have an opportunity to see a future for themselves in their own home country and not have to travel a thousand miles to get to our southern border to ask for refuge because their country is just too dangerous to see them um, grow into successful adults. Um, Ambassador Burns, you also mentioned that possible 30% cuts to our counter narcotic efforts abroad. How could how could that drastically, how could drastically reducing the budget for international narcotics control and law enforcement impact our efforts to combat corruption and strengthen rule of law? Uh, specifically, I wanna hear also how would it impact regional security, whether in the Caribbean or in Central America or at the border? Excuse me, Congressman, one of my responsibilities when I was Under Secretary of State for Condoleezza Rice was to oversee the Bureau INL that conducts our counterterrorism, our counter narcotics, excuse me, programs. I uh, would be the first to say that the United States has not always been successful in these programs. A lot of problems over many decades. But it doesn't make sense to me to say, since we've had problems, we should quit. We can't. We can't afford that. We can't afford it for the stability of the, of the countries, Colombia or Central America, and we can't afford it for our kids who are, who are, who are victims of drug abuse. Right. And so uh, I think they're very important to continue. We have a very fine leader, Ambassador Bill Brownfield, in INL right now. He's one of our best foreign service officers, and the proposed 30% cut to that program is deeply concerning to me and many other people. I'm very concerned about uh, what is happening 
um, in Costa Rica and Panama and what they are seeing um, in, within uh, the Atlantic Ocean um, with the increase of uh, narcotics that are there from Colombia. Thank you, and I yield back.